What's up, everybody? That's New right. podcast, episode 73. <laughs> Jack's not here. Pamaj isn't here. It's just us four. Talk. Is that how we're Pimage starting? Pamaj was never Yeah, here. he was That's never true. Here. I just I didn't want to throw Jack completely under the bus, so I had to put somebody else there. <laughs> Has Pamaj ever been on a podcast? Has Aaron oh. ever been in this house yet? Whoa! Is Aaron, <laughs> is Aaron alive? Like, is Aaron alive? Oh, that's... we gotta start putting Aaron in. Videos. I think I think he was maybe in one podcast, and then obviously Hex's new podcast. But at the old oh, scub house, no, no Jack, no Jack was in a couple, right? Well, I, I thought you were talking about Aaron. No, I was talking uh, about Pomage. Pomage. Oh, Pomage. Yeah, <laughs> I think he was in a maybe like so yeah, maybe at the, the scuff house. Podcast. I believe. I, I believe. Could yeah. be completely wrong. Probably. I feel like he just. Whenever I, I see Pomage in a podcast, it's just him talking about like old snipers that nobody knows about anymore. Entire that mean montage. Bro. Best montage. Of, I'm like, oh like seven. <laughs> I remember one time Pam was walking out of the out of the uh, the garage at the scuff house, and he like walks up. And you're you y'all were about to go outside. And Bose just goes, I want to hear about your sniper montage. <laughs> <laughs> Before you can even get it out. Dude, <laughs> that, word. Dude that, was, that was even leading up to his montage. Yo, you got to check out the clip I just got today. Yeah, Yo, yeah. you got to check out the clip I just got today. Yeah, I want to see when it comes yeah, yeah, yeah. out, Pam. You're spoiling it for me. <laughs> Dude, that's, I want to see it with the music. You used to effects. do that all the time, though. Like, I would walk into the living room and you'd be like, don't come in here snoring. I was like, oh. <laughs> I just walked in. <laughs> I don't want to hear all that snoring <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's exactly what I used to say. I know I remember, yeah. <laughs> come in here with all that snoring shit. <laughs> Dude, Mike used to snore on the couch, too. And literally just... <sighs> just straight up, right? Yeah. Just be standing up still. For real? Like, I actually snore? Some of y'all can just sleep anywhere. No. Mike, oh, yeah, bitch, y'all just fall asleep wherever you're tired at. Don't matter, yeah. Sleep, Scum. sleep. Scum used to do it too. Did he? Well, not anywhere. Did he you? Fall asleep I don't there. think I, I ever saw Bose right fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. No. Bose yeah. fell asleep in one spot that I don't know if I would have fell asleep in on oh, his man. birthday. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <bathroom. laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, where's Bose? Where's Bose? Two o'clock the next day. Yo, I, I, I was in the bathroom the whole time. It just happened. I literally got roofied. Did you really? Yeah, I was like, we were in in the bar. We got there at like eleven, maybe like cross street from that. Oh, dude, literally, legitimately. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dr- I had like I three drinks. Called. Yeah, I, I, there's like people at the front. You can't bring your drink outside, but they're both in normal clothes and they act like they're working the front. Like I'm like, can I put my drink right here? They're like, yeah. I came back in, got my drink, bro. I sat down on on the this chair for like legit like twenty minutes, bro. The room started spinning. I'm like, what the fuck. I feel like I'm about to throw up. I go downstairs. I'm like, oh, maybe I got to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I sit down. I'm like, Yo. fuck, do I got to take a shit? Like, what is going on? Next thing you know, I start throwing up, holding on to the fucking thing. I'm like conscious going in and out. Next thing you know, I wake up at fucking 2.30. The bar's closed. Guy's kicking the door. Like, Open we got up. one in the bathroom. We got one in the bathroom. I woke up, like, acted like I was taking a piss at the urinal. I woke up, opened the door immediately, standing there. I went to the urinal. I'm like, I'm good, bro. I'm good. <laughs> I go upstairs. The bar, it's just workers. I'm like, the bar is closed. <laughs> you thought you were smooth? I'm good. I'm good. Immediately I'm good, walk bro. out into the cab. <laughs> First cab I see, I'm like, tw- one, two, three, five. I'm just get me home, bro. That's yeah. it. I promise I'm not going to throw up. That's all Yo, I you remember. know what I think it was? Remember? Because we that started. Pam came home. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was just about to That, that was that night? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that was a wild night. You sure you weren't drunk though? No. Like positive? No, no, no. Because we started at this one. I don't know if it was that bar or the other bar we started. But remember, we went downstairs and it was like all hippies downstairs. Yeah, that they, and they that had was like the same place. Okay, yeah, they had like some weird mixed drink menu that were, weren't upstairs, and it bro, it looked like straight up like just back in the day type of like bar type of deal. Like, like everyone's on like drugs and shit down there. Yeah, you want to hide? No people were on drugs, bro. There was like legit thirty pocketbooks on the one on the floor. Nobody was t- nobody was near them or touching them. They just left their pocketbook on the ground. I'm like, what kind of bar is this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I see thirty pocketbooks, I'm having bad thoughts. Like, <laughs> kind of yeah. like, that's one. Kind of want to hit a lick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can get five of them yeah, just, right? just, just like this. Kind of want to hit a lick. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, bro, that was wild. Night. I thought you were saying that was here, but that was a no. I was, was in Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. No, Texas is good. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't been downtown. Wait, you haven't? The fuck? At all? Well, besides no. besides that one time we went to that 
really weird strip club. Oh, oh that was first I was there. there. I was there. And that was at the event. Yeah. Ecstasy was the strip club, I believe, called. I don't remember. No, Ecstasy was in, uh, Oh, that's Sapphire and <laughs> Vegas. You were there. Tessa. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know I was there. Sapphire. You, was you like, were there as well? Yeah. You, me. I remember Joe was there. I was there. Wait. Joe who? There was Prize. a lot of girls. I was like, Joe wasn't there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that Joe was definitely not there. There was a lot of people there, bro. Ava, Fuya. Okay, yeah. yeah. So oh, we were I all was there. there. Yeah. Damn, yeah, we just, you were there. You're just putting people on blast now, huh? I mean, it was a strip club. They're girls. Like, That's true, I guess. They probably wouldn't mind. Yeah. <laughs> they were just like dancing. That's yeah. it. Not like dancing. <laughs> <laughs> they were the dancing. Yeah, they were the dancing. <laughs> I just remember like. Damn, what was that ad? That strip club was nice. I just what? told you. That they're, was like a ring That's here. one. No, I'm thinking. It was a Sunday I'm thinking night. Of, wait, it was the only one open like, on a Sunday yeah, night. Yeah, no, like, that one was trash. Oh. Yeah, you're talking about the one you guys went to the night before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I didn't go that night. Which one I was? That, wait, I wasn't with you then. then. Yeah, you weren't with me. Which one? I don't, I don't think know. both. But all those people, I don't know who else. All yeah, those I don't think you said. were there. Okay, all those so people like, were there the at bottles. that one. Two in the box. Oh, about. <laughs> we're getting bottles. You were there. He was like, we don't do bottles. Seth was like, you go do bottles. The nice one? you are. The thug one. The shitty one? The shitty thug one that had all the metal detectors, people. It was sketch. The shitty thug war. <laughs> um, no, I remember. No, I I remember two. Was the were any of y'all at the good one? Like there was an upstairs, a downstairs. No, it was popping at like five a.m. That was the bad one. The bad one was the one on the top floor, and we were hanging out with all those Asian people. Yeah, that's that the, the good one. That's the good one. <laughs> 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 that shit was popping. Okay. <laughs> I'm At like 4 or 5 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asian people you guys met from uh, Bottle Blonde? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was the night. I we went to Bottle Blonde. that night, too. <laughs> I was blacked. <laughs> we went Bro, to Bottle Blonde, and then we went to... What was the name of that strip club? Ecstasy. Bro, I, li- I like that place. I feel like I feel like on Hex's podcast, once they talked about weed, everything's open. Oh, now. yeah. No, everything's no. just wide open. I mean, yeah, like, might as well. <laughs> right? Like, threw me one. under the... Threw everyone under the... Not yeah. everyone, but yeah, people always come in and be like, "I knew you smoked all the weed," and I was like, "I live there, I'm good." <laughs> <laughs> Plus, like, <laughs> yeah, it's just not a. It won't even smoke a jewel as long as it's in the past. Strip club was in the past. Strip clubs of the past, the sixty fifty in the past. Drug house. Technically, everything <laughs> will be in the past. But <laughs> I didn't even listen to that. I don't know what they were saying. You didn't watch it, but I know yeah. uh, Nate shot told some story of it. Yeah, yeah that like hide, Dude, hide was, the weed when that was the, a super good podcast. Swatted or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Dude, I remember Nate's. I don't know where I was. It was not too often that like Nate and I are hanging out, but we were like somewhere, and he told me that story because I was like the only one. I think that's his like go to party story. <laughs> yeah. It's like his go to like yo, you won't believe this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And so every time you hear it for the first time, you're like. No way. So hearing him retell it on the actual podcast, I was like, damn, this podcast. See, I don't ever get nervous like, like, like that. Word for word, that was it, man. That was like, that yeah, was that's what he told bro. me. He's got it down to a T, dude. <laughs> it's the same. He was doing the same mannerisms. The same, same animations. He waits, he waits for the pauses. <laughs> Yo, I knew he was like, the SWAT guy came in and went. <laughs> and I was like, I knew he did that. I knew he did that. He already told us. The <laughs> <laughs> then, then the police officer went, hmm. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what compelled me to put it all away. And then he came like, back I, to the house. I remember that. Remember that, remember that, that part. part. <laughs> remember that cop came to the house one day, Mike. He walked in. He was like, "So I came back to." He walked in. He was like, "Dude, those uh, are, to bro. get uh, names, I just need names. That's it." At six, at sixty fifty, I remember Dude. Will walked in one time and was like. Smells like scumbag in here. <laughs> <laughs> club. How many times did we have with us actually being there? Cops pull up for like supposed swats. Two, three. I, I, I was only there for one. It never happened at six or at uh one two three five because never one two three five. Yeah, yeah, because we like hex like yeah, locked it down. Yeah. Wait, but at sixty fifth, you guys remember? I know you were there. I don't know if you were there or you were there. I was. But when the uh, they tried to swat us, and then there was a car outside at the cul-de-sac waiting, and then they thought that was the person who tried to swat us, and they were I just think, chilling there I the whole I time. There, remember yeah. that? Yeah. Did you vlog I that? I, I did. I remember, but they didn't let vlog. me up. 
No, I don't think they let me upload it, did they? No, I think we said no, not to upload it. Yeah. You watched, or the, but I, I streamed saw it. Clip. I streamed it off. Yeah, I, I was streaming Halo, and I just had my webcam pointed out the the window. <laughs> Guys, we're getting swatted. Come <laughs> watch. Yeah, I rem- <laughs> maybe I did upload a clip, unless it was another one. But I know I vlogged it, and then. Guys, remember that when I vlogged and <laughs> uploaded? Um, I know I vlogged it and then, but they didn't let me upload it. So there went my one mil video. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, big timer uploaded a video just him on the back porch talking about getting swatted. And got eight hundred k. Jeez, dude, I got a million views. Dude, video once that didn't nice. that shit r- randomly pop yeah what the hell it's just so- i got oh, a, yeah, bike, a bike, one? bike video with mike no, actually, at like 1.7 million i think i have, I think I have two or shit. three yeah I think but it's all random person yeah. like googling bike shit yeah, Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, one of the, the people that watched his his video uh came up to me in the gym once and was like yo don't you ride motorcycles i was like Yes. He's like, didn't you teach someone how to ride one? I was like, like a bigger That's dude. Crazy. I was like, yeah. He's like, are you a gamer? He's like, no, why? I was like, because I am. And then <laughs> That's what I did. Like, trying to make the connection. I was like, That's why. <laughs> Literally, a dude trying to learn himself how to ride it. Was yeah, watching your that, video yeah. that I was teaching you. Was that is crazy. crazy. Oh, teach how to ride. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, let me yeah, see. Yeah. Let me. I'm gonna check how many views it, it's at right now. I just want to see what, uh, like how. If it's growing still, I think yeah. no, I think that I shit's got, so I think random. I got two or three on my channel that are million. There are random videos, like your one v one versus Pomage. I mean, it, it, it is a good video. Well, that's like you kind of expect a, it. Yeah, but like the Pomage one point six so million. One point six. It's just like all the comments are like people like, so like, do you do this with the clutch or that? <laughs> like, <laughs> He's just like, like, like I just got on this shit, rode and edit. <laughs> That's Wrote that for 30 seconds for a video. And I, was out. <laughs> I don't know how to drive. I didn't actually want to. I didn't care about learning. I just kind of want to. Just kind of like your, your Fortnite video with Jack. Yeah. yeah that shit's pop. like 1.5 or something. Like, how does that shit work? How the. <laughs> I just wonder. Like it's thrown so, into it has algorithm. to just get. Yeah. Like, ha- literally just has to be that. Like, it just got lucky to where, like, everyone's. N- next video that youtube like automatically yeah, plays yeah. that one pops up i feel like it used to not be as dependent on the algorithm but now it's like huge the algorithm is everything okay i don't know because because after after like sub because sub boxes don't even really exist anymore like you have yeah. to you have to click the little people really button. go and watch if they want to watch really? yeah because sure. you, youtube used to be you hit your homepage and all your subscriptions are right there. Mm-hmm. But Thanks. then they changed it where you have to hit the button, the the bell in order to get like a, a notification that your, your person's uh, uploaded. So then every, that's why people started saying, make sure to hit the bell, make sure to hit the bell because everybody's views. Yeah, like that's how it stopped working. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's I remember it was, yeah. Uh, when Reed, Reed was telling me about it and he was like, there were, there were people that, you know, he like manages a bunch of YouTubers, and and there were some people that were getting like, you know, like thirty million views a month, and they went from thirty million to like eight million in one month. Yeah, it was like shit. there was like a weird like purge that it was like weird. It was just it was a weird like time. And it was like during all of the ad apocalypse stuff at yeah. the same time. Yeah. I feel like I never got like hit with any of that. <laughs> well, that, that was I, I felt too. that was when you stopped uploading. It was literally the same months as you stopped uploading, like the very end of the uh, sixty. Or, uh, well, no, the thing is, we used months. to compare our analytics. Like, you uh, upload this. Like, my, I felt like my my ads. Like, I would still get like, let's just say, if I got a million views, like I'd still make like more than what I'm supposed to. No, hundred percent. That was you. Yeah, and me. That's what I thought. Oh yeah, that it was, was like two or three months we had. It yeah, in a Mike row. was literally his literally, shit was literally cut like two grand, two hundred thousand, no maybe three hundred thousand view difference, and then the the money difference between me and Bose was insane. I was like, I, I don't, I don't get it. I got, yeah. I think I even had longer videos than you in one of those months. But he was, he was still. also using the YouTube fucking. Uh, pay again. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Off YouTube. The ads I was using yeah. like. Uh, that's probably what it I was is, monetized yeah. like with a fucking. MLG or whatever it was. Ad. <laughs> Some I don't even get. I don't even know what a CPM is. Yeah, like I don't. Even, I don't know what's the difference. No between, what's the difference between them? I don't know, the but C- Hex is always like, "Yo, this MCM one has sixty and, and CPMs." I'm like, "No that way, good. dude! That shit's a lot of CPMs." <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All I know is sixty per. Th- that sounds about. That's good. Yeah. 
60. The number times a thousand. One times 60 is 60. This one has like 10,000. Like views and 10 views. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the amount of like contracts and like shit I've signed, just like that, no, <laughs> I know nothing 15, about. Fourteen year old, yeah. the amount of Dude. just next on TurboTax. I just, I just, I just, I just <laughs> no, I'm yeah, just kidding. taxes. I don't, I don't do that. But. As a kid, yeah, seeing those contracts, you're just like, yeah, oh, I get to be part of a team. I get, I get cool like headphones and stuff signed away. No reason. I go straight to what's the salary? <laughs> I, go straight, I got the fucking promotional thing, the campaign. I literally immediately got the papers. I was like, just flipping for the. <laughs> that, we can do it. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. 30 tweets a day? Sure. Fuck, Fuck it. I'll, Why not? I'll tweet 30 times a day. <laughs> Easy. Dude, that's funny. Damn. So, how was Halo, boo? Halo was great. It was. Hey, we just finished, came back from Dreamhack Atlanta. Unfortunately, we got second instead of first. The last series was. Ah, oh, so whack. I wish we could do it again. Um, but it was fun to be back in the environment. It was a little salty that we were the grand finals at the start of off kickoff on Sunday because we had like such a successful stream with Halo Three compared to Halo Five. And I get that it was the last Halo Five tournament, so they wanted to make sure that there was like no confusion of like which game people came to watch in a sense. Yeah. Um, but for the fact that like we did do so well. On you, not as many people are going to be up at ten o'clock, and still people came out. I believe they hit fifteen thousand. Yeah, on Sunday in the grand finals, and before Ninja retweeted the Halo Five finals, it was at like seventeen thousand before it spiked up from his retweet. Huh. So we were in a ten-year-old game, two thousand viewers away from you know people, get, and they're all pumping it out. I'm sure three, four, three Microsoft to make sure that their game is actually being watched. Um, so just to see that the the fan base was there, the community was there, was incredible. They yeah. announced two more Halo three tournaments next year. One is a they're both four v fours actually. One's going to be in January. That's a thirty five thousand dollar prize pool, and then one's at Gamers for Giving. So, side so note, I think I'm going to continue growing my beard until that charity event, and then do the You're shave there the shave. instead of doing at the end of this year. Um, but I thought it was cool. And the exciting thing now is that kind of how we talk about. I don't know if it was on the podcast or just on the side. We're like, we got to throw a tournament, but with all the old school teams and yeah. only the old school teams. So you have no more Halo 5 events. You either have a lot of your Halo players going to Call of Duty, like we see with Frosty um, and whatnot, or yeah. they're going to play Halo 3. So it's going to bring back kind of that so, excitement. So is Frosty, is he not going to play Halo at all? <laughs> I don't believe he is. Like, Damn. I, I don't think I'll he is. I was him, I it. Yeah, like. Hell no. He's doing well, first of all. He's ready on on the good team. He's got good people around him to like learn so and much excel, more like how Cobb. formal did you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but it was fun. Uh, I'm excited for the fours. I don't know. I don't know if you're playing. Nick. I saw your tweet towards Tox, and I was like, "Wait, is this Nick?" Because that's what I thought. I was like in my head, "All right, Nick." I was like, "Lethal, PJ, Royal, and then you." And then I tweeted out, I was like, Nick already said on stream he doesn't want a game. So I was like, oh, he's like actually just trying to get BTA to yeah, sponsor I'm just trying as to, a full uh, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to get my fucking own little mini org. Just but, talks, though. Just one yeah. team. Just one team. BTA is just one team. Just a, just a Halo team that'll win every event. Yeah, no, that'd be dope. Yeah. But but overall, man, it was it was so much fun to be back in that environment. I know that like even if Nick just went without even practice, he would have enjoyed it. Just like just Oh, when I was that, playing, like, I was like like I, I was like judging plays people were making. I was like, man, I'm so, I was so good at this game. <laughs> I was like, dude, Halo Three on land, like that's the that's like what I live for. Oh, dude, it was so much fun, and yeah, I had a blast at it. Unfortunate last series, literally, like I wish you could play it again because like the most typical shit happened. I got next to Roy, like our back flag cuts, oh. and I knew they had rockets, and and I literally go, yo, don't butt fuck. And as I said that, I jumped left. To not be next to each other, and I just see a rocket flying in the direction. I watched it from his point of view. There was never even, it didn't even look like there was a call out of me. He just randomly shot it there, and it was unfortunate that I jumped that way. Like the there was back, the, yeah. the back sniper. Yeah, I mean, like watching him coming through green and all that. Like, it yeah. was, it was he just ran, he got, yeah, that was, yeah, lucky it was just a hopefully he is jumping and then take him out. And so it's crazy that are those two guys like amateur, like, are they, uh, Gabriel, yeah, I feel yeah. like, was doing... I mean, they're amateurs for sure. Gabriel, I feel like, was doing stuff during H2A with Munoz and stuff, or I could be completely wrong. They might have been... If they were... Yeah, if... Gabriel, maybe, was but like not yet a low-tier pro. Maybe. Yeah, fantasy. But even then... Fantasy, I'm not, not really just sure. an online kid. It's just crazy that he, he hit that double rocket and, like, didn't pop off. 
Yeah. Like, uh, if like I hit that excitement? double rocket, yeah, I would have yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Like I would have been freaking out, yeah. dude. We especially this, this, but and he I was just he, like, I think he was just so like, oh yeah, yeah. Nervous, cracked. Like, yeah, that's cracked. that's what a lot of people told us too. There was <laughs> actually, I think, like two teams that didn't show up because they were like, dude, I can't go to land, and then all of a sudden lose the Roy and Flame and or neighbor and best man, like just the old school dudes. Are yeah. Like, especially after like everyone saying the grinders, the grinders, the grinders. We got to play like those the the one team that just would always molly wop us online too, which was Evader yeah. and. Uh, that's what I thought. I it's gun type or gunfire, and, and gun type. And I think, uh, I think the reason like that was such a good series for us is because like they were teabagging online or more gun type, not Evader. Evader just kind of just straight out just plays the game, which is pretty cool. But gun type, you could definitely tell he was like, oh man, you guys are old school just type of cocky, people, yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like it's like fake confidence, though. Well, probably it is. It's 100%. like unconfident. I always yeah. say that it's their un- fake confidence. Like, yeah, they're, they're unconfident, so they, so they try to show it. They yeah. have to do so it so they, they can try to, try to get like in confident. your head. Yeah, and like so. that that one dude that <clears throat> obviously the gears trash talk. The dude that gets up <sighs> and talks trash, one? talks trash to Gilbert. And Gilbert was like, "Put your whole bank account on this next match." <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Like, <laughs> like you, you're gonna talk to a dude that hasn't lost a two K this year. They haven't lost a two K. In, like, the last 10 2Ks. Jesus. Like, why would you talk trash to him? Like, that's fake confidence. You know you're Was that even, lose. like, in the finals or? I think it was a, a round in the semifinals. And they yeah. ended up losing, the, or they ended up winning that map anyway. So, he was just like, that's what he gets up. He's like, what's up, dickhead? Uncomposed dickheads. That's, that's really? his trash talk. <laughs> you uncomposed dickheads. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's what funny. the other dude said to Gil? No, that's moment? what Gil was saying. Uh, after, they, uh, after they won, that's what uh, Gil okay, was okay. Composed. I was watching it like Dude, it really is. Yeah, I He's hate not hated. Confidence. Yeah, not hated, but I hated when my teammates would talk shit. I'm like, dude, that's what dumb. Rick used to say. Like, dude, we got, relax, we man. Got two more max. Like, yeah, that's, like yeah. it ain't over, man. Yeah, because there's always the yeah, like because I think um I forgot what series, but I think on the side station someone teabagged Roy or yelled something, and then it got Roy mad and like. <laughs> I didn't know. I totally forgot that Roy enjoys getting yelled at and pissed off and yeah. like plays better. But I was like, I, feel like I was like in my way. head, I was like, yo, Roy, calm down after this. I was like, yo, just remember, man, just low heart rate, keep it calm. He's like, oh, no, I love that shit. I was like, all right, keep going. Man. <laughs> if anyone yelled, I'll tell them to yell at you. You were good. Yeah. Anytime anyone ever teabagged me, I would, like, you know, there's some people who get teabagged and they're like, fucking teabagging me. Yeah. Fuck, just, like, if I ever got teabagged, I, like, in my head, I'm just like, all right. Like, now, right. like I'm now I'm next really going to focus. <laughs> like, you just, like, literally when I get teabagged, it's like a reminder to focus. Like, you're at a tournament. Yeah, it's, it's time like, to oh, okay. <laughs> okay one shot let's blue, focus up. One shot blue pit. One shot. <laughs> Dude, whenever I'm playing anything, people in my chat will always say one shot blue pit. And I think that's from, it has to be from your stream, right? Because there's a blue bunch of people, pit. when you stop streaming, they come into my stream. So I was playing Pokemon and I was just like, you know, yeah. using moves on a guy and it was like he was like super weak and they were like, one shot blue pit, one shot blue pit. I mean that and is a like, Halo call out. Yeah. What call out is that? Blue pit? Blue pit, like in I don't know, front. Yeah. I mean Wait. there's the pit, the pit, in the pit, yeah, I get that, but there was no colors or bases in the pit. Uh Red would always know, Red would always spawn this, their pit, our pit. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if oh, there I guess, actually I mean, was yeah. a blue pit call out. I don't know. That's just like the the token call out. But I yeah. My no, no. But yeah, overall, I, I would think it'd be like one shot pink two. Do you know what pink two is? Yeah, see, that'd be the one. No. Okay. What map is that? Mid shit. I was. I was. Mm-hmm. There's pink shit. Whenever on you walk up, the top, the like sword, the most popular the part that everyone tries to control on the side to where you can get on top. Yep. Yeah, that one. Dude. Pink two. <laughs> the hell else is going on <laughs> oh fucking um wait are you gonna wait, be are playing at all or yeah no? i was i was okay, about to no. just answer that um or or is that it i'm not gonna like <sighs> i'm not gonna i'll not have to play. see like the prize money breakdown i'll have to like i i kind of want to compete at the first one mm-hmm. and then just like disappear see the first one unless i'm like you should, winning. Just, you should or you should pull some Big boy moves and hit up Ninja and really, really Team walk in ninja with Cloud. You, 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 you Ninja, you Ninja, and you can play with anyone. 
Like <laughs> the ninja. Who's gonna, say, yeah. who's gonna say no to ninja? The ninja. You know what I mean? Tox. Besides <laughs> Tox, or just play with Tox. And, or, I don't. I think they'll. They say no yeah. Either. They would not pick me up. Um, Dude, and and for Halo Three, it's it's obviously super exciting because it's like it is a lot of the newer pros, right? They're obviously going to be great at it, and it's like what will be the difference now? Because like at the end of the Halo Three, I finished second in the four v fours, and we lost the final boss and won three straight events. Yeah. So like realistically, like ending Halo Three, like my team was if if you read everything by the last tournament, obviously, it's like all right, they're the second best team to to close out Halo Three. Um, and like stuff like that. What I get, fifth, I think. I think B. we we beat TD for for. Uh, Y'all beat us for top three, I think. No, I thought we went the to very last Halo TD. three event. Yeah, and we lost. Me to Zoxic, snipe down Demon D. I think y'all beat us just to get to top four. I think I woke up with bubble guts. Or no, no, no. I woke up and I had eggs for breakfast and then I had bubble guts on main stage. And I remember about to shit my pants against y'all for top three. Loss. I'm pretty positive. Because I feel like we beat TD because I feel like we beat TD to break top four since we were always with that curse. I eat before no match. And then, I don't know. Or maybe. Wait. Well, you guys beat TH or what was the team name? You, Snipe Down, Toxic. Yeah, we are BTH. And Destin? Uh, Demon. Demon? He sniped down to his Demon. Last Halo 3. That had to, the event, y'all, yeah. Y'all got second. Yeah. Had to be that. Yeah. Pretty we positive. We did like the whole year, four, 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 seven. Pretty sure second. we lost to y'all. Yeah, I think I got fifth. Okay. And like, <clears throat> like just to see that, like, like Pete, like Snakebite was definitely, if there's another year, Halo 3, he would have been on a top team. Like, yeah. he was definitely just improving a lot, a lot, a lot. And then he just had great individual skill for that game. He was a huge power weapon controller. Um, and anytime I played him, like that's what I noticed him a lot. But I think it's gonna be like exciting to see like the Halo Five or the newer guys who do play it, because there's like a there's like a formula obviously to play Halo Three already. Like if you play four v fours, like Nick does, Nick could just jump on. Like I remember how to play the Pit. I remember how to play Heretic. Yeah, shot might be a little iffy just because he hasn't used to it, the timing and all that. But like literally, he'll be able to jump in with three other pros against for the. Yeah. The, the people that have been grinding now and I'm sure put up a great match or even win. Dude, I love that game. It, it just makes sense. Yeah. And there's like, there's smarts to it. There's a lot of instinctual shit. And, I, and it's just like just Black Ops 4, man. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good for, I, I think it's really good for the viewers. Like it's so, Facts. it's like Dude, slow. You could, you could slow But it it's not really point. slow when you're, actu- when you're actually I, playing. Man, it's just really believe. good for that a 2v2 was getting met that many viewers. Same. Like, people love Halo 3. People uh, love non-sprint Halos. We were, we were talking about, it, like, the, the thing about Halo 3 is by choice, you could actually just, like how Nick said, it's slower. You could slow it down, which allows the caster to let the crowd and the audience know what's going on. With Halo yeah. 5, it's like, sometimes they try to say something, and you just see people on. sliding. And just sliding, flying. flying All right, they have thrusting, Blue Ben on there ready in sprinting. Red 2. That's I just know that's how it's going to be this year in Black Ops 4. Now, first of all, Black Ops 4, I think Black Ops 4 is a great game. Yeah, I but agree with that. Jesus, it is Overwatch, man. It's just going to be Overwatch Part 2. Like, with, oh, this guy has 15 abilities. Let's list them all out. Yeah. Like, he has it now. He could use it for this hill, for this rotation. And, and just imagine being like a, you know, like a 13-year-old kid trying to get involved in Watching Twitch you to, clicks like, on take that. So much information. It's just yeah. like, what the hell is going on? Like, I don't even know what's control. I do like, <laughs> I do like Black Ops Four though. Yeah, I, I like surprising. It too. Ba- the base game for sure, just the movement and all that shooting is incredible. Yeah, yeah. it's just it's like like I, I was just watching the Halo Three thing and I was like, man, I miss it's classic, the, sim- the simple games. stuff. Yeah, I miss Same. maybe I'm, maybe I'm just old. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, like, do, do games have to continuously get more complicated in order for people? So to... many more buttons. Yeah, instead like, of like mastering, yeah, I thought I always thought original was the best ever. Everything. Yeah. The gaming wise, think about GB, UMG, just yeah. everything. Like original was always the best. Yeah. You can't even figure out how to get a wager now. You know how hard it is. Yeah. Bro, there's fucking like, there's enroll like... the team, like go backwards, and the fucking. Page will fail, so you got to go back to the old. It's and there's so like annoying. four different sites that do yeah, wagers like, now. Like, it's just too much. All, all different general. settings even too, games, usually, right? Yeah. yeah with, Every, like, like, that's a headache. Dude, there's not even like a fuck, a rule set. It's crazy because the rule set, the, the main CWL rule set is so 
like wacky, I mm-hmm. guess, that like they're not. Uh, people just make their own. People like, just make they their own. More comfortable. And then when people make their own, it's different than every other website's rule set. So it's just like, jeez, man. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of just excited for League Play to come out. Facts. Then, yeah, then cool. I'll just cry. I was that addicted shit. to that in yeah. the Black Ops. League Play was yeah, fun. I need fucking something. <laughs> yeah. I just played I I know what's bad when you're hitting me up. Like, yo, do you want to play GBs with TST? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, dang, you're going through it. I've been streaming every day. Just fucking Nuketown. Over and over and over. Did you get yeah. all the Dark Not Matter really, yet or I, no? I haven't really played Nuketown like that. What? Did you get all the camos? No. I gave up on that. Oh, okay. That's that's like too. That's like getting pissed off while just playing the same stuff over yeah. and over. Like at least in, I mean to be honest, all I at least actually all I used in the beginning when I first started playing was the ICR. Like I like max leveled it and I just ICR ICR. But then I was like, ah, oh, the Sog and Maddox, and now it's like I'm like trying different guns. Like I I yeah. know we'd go into GBs and I'd pull out the Maddox and. I'm like, I'm not used to this recoil. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm fucking missing. Sog, I was bad with because I've never practiced with anything but the ICR. Yeah, ICR so now it's like, I ha- sadly, my fun is trying, it's just playing with the Maddox and Sog now. And even that, I'm fucking still bored. I need something. Yeah. And Hopefully. Blackout's trash. Unpopular opinion. Come on. I don't think that's, a, I don't think that's as unpopular as you might think it is. Yeah, I, think lot, I like it a lot, but I, I think... I don't play. I don't, I don't grind yeah. it every day. I, I just, just jump on, play two hours, three hours with my yeah. buddy. And yeah, that's I like all you played. I enjoy it, but it's just there's just so much about. I mean, how, how, and then it makes me think like, what would make a perfect BR? Fortnite. Fortnite. I mean, other than Fortnite. H one Z one. But that wasn't like what made that so good? Because you would say H one Z one is better. Than I think Black, like the Black, simplicity Blackout. and yeah. See, I didn't play H1Z1 yet. Um, I don't know what makes a BR good. Cause like, I really don't. Because people are like, well, it's armor that sucks in Blackout. But it's like... And then it went to Nine Bangs. Well, Nine Bangs were trash. Honestly, I do... Mm, I, don't, I don't know. I yeah. don't have the answers. I don't, I don't, I don't know either. <laughs> but it's just... There's got to be something if like... Because Fortnite obviously set such a standard with like... Uh, but like if, if you die and drop shields, I do hate armor. But it's the same thing as shields, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like, but, what's the difference? Well, the the Dude. difference to me is that armor is like, well, at least my newbie ass. It's like I'd look down. I'm like, hmm, what level is this? Pick it up. It was someone else's. That's like twenty percent left. So I'm like, fuck. Well, I gotta drop mine now. And then I drop that. Pick my old one back up. And that's why I hate armor. It's not just like seeing a potion and knowing, oh, I'm yeah. going to drink this and I get this much. Actually, not every time. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I think a lot of things. And armor is fucking rare. A lot of things I think people don't know it with the armor like. is like, if you hit start and see what the armor actually says, like that's that's what it does. And I think the, the health bar on the armor determines that as well. Like I think level three armor like reduces 40% of incoming fire or something like that. And so like depending where it yeah, is. Yeah, see, gauge, like now I'm pissed. Yeah. Just thinking about that. <laughs> but yeah. I, think, I think like what made Fortnite so great honestly is how simple the game was off the rip because no one knew how to build right off the rip you know what i mean like it was it was it just progressively got to what where the meta is today and in the beginning it was just so simple simple someone would build one ramp fight from the top of the ramp and drop down that was it there was nothing crazy to it now you got the then it was a two by two and then it went all the way up to the sky and now people are flying all over the place and yeah. it just became something with Fortnite, it's like it's interesting watching how good people can be mm-hmm. with uh with blackout i just don't see any of that yeah I if agree. you put a shield like if, if, if if you're able to continue to increase the ceiling of a game, I feel like that's what makes it so successful. Yeah. Like, because then it's, I mean, obviously Epic is always doing stuff to help the community and just always listening right away. But if you can honestly continue raising that ceiling every time, then it just allows for new players to come in yeah. see what to do. I feel like what, <clears throat> if really good players can go into solo squads and compete, <clears throat> I think that's what makes a, a BR good. Because you can do that you know, you can do like really good Fortnite players will go into solo squads. Just they for can, high kills, man. They can, you know, they can shoot somebody, you know, make them down, then build, wait for their teammates. But if you go into solo squads and in, in blackout, you're toast. Yeah, like, is that a thing in H one Z one? Yeah, 
I remember Ninja. Solo <laughs> Ninja used to do it. <clears throat> I think Ninja was like one of the first. And I'm sure it was it. like doable. Yeah. Because like you can like six bullets. That's three people. Yeah. If, if your shots are really good, if you're disgusting, if you're a god, <laughs> but I'm just saying, if like, you have aimbot, but like it is, it is possible to like two tap and that person's gone, like they're not down, <clears throat> yeah. they're they're spectating their friends already, two shots deep. So like people used to do an H one as well, but then like PUBG, you don't see it that often unless you're like a pro player. How hard is in PUBG? Uh, well, Hypox said he warms up doing it. Really? Okay. But again, that, that game is so slow. It's just yeah. like it's such a slow paced game that I don't know if it's, I don't know if it'd be fun like to watch to people do. Okay. like solo squad, but I tried to solo squad. I solo squatted a lot in the, in the beta for blackout because the snipers were so good in the beta, but now snipers are so like weird in blackout. It's like, you have so much sway that. Like, you can't really, like, down people like that. Like, you'll run into two people. Maybe if you have a good gun, you'll Fuck. down two, and then their two teammates come in with stuns and, yeah. Oh, yeah. and stuns and, impossible. And, and, like, level three armor. And it's just like, dude, I don't know. It's just not the – it's not – I don't know. You can, you can only win so many pub blackout games, like, with your squad before it's like, okay, what, what are we doing here? <laughs> I feel like it'd be easy to win. Well, it's easy in Fortnite too. I mean, it's you saying solo squads in Black? No, it's just running squads. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's super easy in With Fortnite. People, yeah. <clears throat> maybe there's not enough bad people in Blackout, or maybe it's hard to be bad. I don't know. Well, have, in Fortnite, I feel like it's fun, kind of, because there's a lot of bad people. A lot of bots. Yeah, yeah. Well, there are a lot of bad people in in Blackout. But there's a lot of ways to make those bad people not as bad. Yeah. There's a lot of quarters. Yeah, a lot that's of what I'm saying. And armor. There's a lot of. Yeah, the worst. Shit. The worst person like in, in blackout could honest like doesn't even know to move around the map and this happy thing in that building yeah. corner. And then Dude, when you pop in, I, how do people oh, play him. like that, man? I can't. It's so boring. It's like, <laughs> like, oh, dude, there's like twenty percent of people in every lobby play that way. In, oh, in black. every time. And it's like Ow. it's like sixty percent of everybody. In and then they'll G die and be way. like, "Damn." <laughs> <laughs> they'll be like, "Damn, I, I got top ten one. though." Yeah, yeah no, Like no. you're proud of that? I can't one kill, it. top ten. <laughs> Sit in the same building. Fucking, I've seen way too many like that. <laughs> dude. Huh? I've seen like. When I jumped with my buddy, like, literally this one time, these people jumped out of a helicopter and just stood on the beach behind these rocks, and we knew they were there the entire time, and we fought, like, three other teams before the circle they were closed on them, there. and we went there, and they were still there. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, they're, some just, shit. I they're was just panicking, too. Yeah. They're just, oh, they don't know where no, you're going. Stay here, stay here, stay here, stay here, Don't poke, don't poke, don't poke. They're fighting, they're fighting. No, 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 no. We could jump in, we could third party. No, 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 no. Like, imagine... That's how we imagine their conversation going, but it's actually just like, "Hello, yeah, what's up, mom?" <laughs> like he's like on the phone, just like eating chips, doesn't yeah. give a shit. Went to the bathroom real quick, came yeah. back, <laughs> got fucking nine. This guy's banged. still here, and he's just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a normal not, person playing a normal video game, yeah. the not the taking it. Laying back in bed, like <laughs> twenty feet away YouTube from his TV. Yeah. Delayed. 60 inch. Went, to go, in. went to go get batteries for the controller. <laughs> batteries died. <laughs> That's funny. That's crazy. Classic stuff. Dude, the That's first nice. time I ever played on a monitor was the day we moved into the scuff house. The scuff house? Not even the scuff 6050? House. I a different yeah. I was playing. For Halo, I felt like it was um, whenever I played on the tube TV, like the big ones. <sighs> Miss those. I feel like they have. A, just a better reaction time. They do they, they have, have a no, better. They have no like, response time. Yeah, the yeah, response no time. Yeah. So I feel like in COD, that shit would kind of play a part too. Because I remember when I played Halo 3 on a tube TV, I was nasty. Dude, that's what that's what Roy was saying. He was like, yo, to be honest, if we could just play on tubes on Halo 3, I'm, I'm with it. Really? Mm -hmm. He was like, that's. I don't ever remember the story. I just always thought his shot was like good from Halo 2. But he said the way that his shot got known was that like the first Taylor three day, they went to like some tournament. It was on a two TV and he was absolutely shitting. And then people were just like Roy shots, disgusting Roy shots, disgusting. Yeah. And then history from there. Dude, his shot is still disgusting. <sighs> I was watching him play like, 
Dude, literally yeah, when I watched him, I'd be like, oh, you got this, you got this. And then it would be like a four. And I was like, yeah, that's why I did it. <laughs> so I grad you. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, I want a team with Roy. See you hey, play fours? Hey, Green Law. Tweet at the Roy Borg. Convince him. He was playing so hard. I, I told him because like yeah. he, he definitely can't put that many hours. But I think the cool thing about Halo 3 is that it's like I said, Nick can just jump on. Yeah. He knows how to play. Roy obviously just went to a land. So he, he has the experience of the new MCC. And I said just two hours a day, man. You find two other people. You get your stream going. He had a successful Halo stream as well. One of the, the most uh, successful Halo streams. I was like, obviously, the green wall. Y'all are crazy. Fan base is insane. Um, y'all loved him. You guys gave him so much uh, support the entire weekend. I was like, man, just come on. It's crazy you guys Keep it going. Out there. Yeah. <clears throat> I almost thought about doing status quo, but then I was like, I got to do it. I wanted to bring the trophy so bad to Hex's studio. And then that shit happened. Damn. Choke. Choke, I was like, man. <laughs> That's the anger coming out. Uh, but yeah, Greenwald, do your thing. Tweet at him. Um, I think he'll play. I think I think it's going to be weird. He's, he's got his full-time job. He's yeah. Like, I found out what it was. He's an electrician. Electrician. Okay. Not what is Lud? Not nurse. An electrician as well. They're both electricians? But like he's just higher up. So I believe uh who lunch married his uh his wife's uh, father owns the company and so okay. it's like it's a family owned company and they're just all fun on them there now. And l- lunch is zero percent. No way. It's, yeah, lunch apparently zero percent. It's gonna be exciting though, just because like I saw Fear Itself tweet to victory and I could see Damn. I could see the Fear Itself victory, Ola. And Tuger, because that's that's the, they won three of the they won the last three Halo three events. So like that'd be cool to see like them come back together, which would then my interest <laughs> Nick, as we see right here, I ladies and coming. gentlemen. He went. <sighs> Damn, Cloud's back. Is he? Is Scotty playing? I mean, he played Halo five, didn't he? At that last event, I didn't see him. Really? Someone told me he went. I saw Demon. Demon played really, Demon, plays pretty yeah, well. Yeah. What he plays? I think uh, top six yeah. or fourth. Or I no? saw him. I saw him playing on Sunday. Aaron either got fifth, six, and lost to Demon's team, or Aaron got seven, eight, and <coughs> Demon's got fifth, six. Hmm. Yeah, I want to. If I'm gonna come back, I want to team with Demon. I'm not coming back and teaming with like. No offense. Like, don't say names. Just say amateur players. Yeah. I mean, not, well, not amateur players, but like, but even like the new Halo, the Halo 5 pros. New, like yeah. Halo 5 pros. Yeah. Like, so I want to do it with the people that I've played with before, know how to play the game. Or it's still playing. Well, it's Halo just, 5 I want to enjoy it. Like, I would enjoy coming back and like trying to like prove something with like old people. Yeah. For 100%. My day. Not coming in and like, yeah, I'm going to try to win the event and I want the best team possible <laughs> if I play. But yeah, we're gonna have some money. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tonight, enjoy coming jump in. On Do you in. think everybody's gonna try to play? But I don't know. I saw Snipe Down's gonna play. I know Ace is gonna, gonna play. I don't know what Ola's is doing. No, like, you not think, like, like old Wes Halo. Is gonna play? Like, no, 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 no. Like, I think he will. Cat. If I, well, no. Well, I know information for yeah for why he's not gonna play. But yeah. yeah. Um. But like, I don't. I don't think like Elamite will play because he's working here too, right? Yeah. I don't. I don't know if T Squared will play. He could play. I mean, he's just got his. Well, I don't even know, man. Would he? They own straight, right? Yeah. Would he kick? And they're the European team, so would he kick them off the roster so he could create a kick dome? someone hey, off the roster? Play. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know how that would work. Um, I don't think as many people will play. I, I, I best. I mean, I definitely I bet believe Hysteria some people would do it. Might come back. Who would um, you think? TD, Hysteria will come him, back. Neighbor, D Man, I mean, maybe. If hysteria, hysteria comes back, then hand. I could I could definitely see it being like a hysteria, ninja, fear, victory. But at the same time, I could see the fear, victory, Ola, and two. I, could, I they can want. see his, hysteria, fear, ninja, and Cam. But do you even that's the, that's the, think back, this is like crossing ninja's mind? Like, do you even think he's thought about it? Probably. Uh, he probably didn't see. Is, the, he probably didn't see they announced yeah, it. <laughs> Thing is, Ninja wasn't even a Halo Three person. Yeah, yeah no, no. That, that's what I'm saying, dude. You know how, like, no, no offense to anybody, but you know how annoying Ninja's fan base would be for you guys, like coming back. Good. Yeah, I can get my cloud up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk shit back to him. <laughs> Fuck no, y'all, BTA. Bro, do you remember no, the one love time it. we played that the first ever Friday Fortnite, me and you, and Tifu was banned at the time. Oh yeah. And all yeah. of our, our, I had like 300 viewers. You had like 400 viewers the whole day. We played Tifu 
our shit went from to like we four or five k. Yeah, yours went to five k. Mine went to like two k. And I was like, "Who are these people?" I looked down. And it's just like, who is this curly headed freak? Fuck <laughs> against my favorite you player. Suck. You <laughs> suck. You suck. Show us. I died, and I was watching Nick, and they were like, "Show us Tifu." <laughs> I was like, "Who is T? I don't even know who Tifu is yeah, like, right. at the time. Yeah, I, I had no either. idea who he was." That shit would be crazy if it was. Yeah, actually. And tweet at Ninja Two to tell, remind him there's a four v four Halo <laughs> tournament. I think it would be dope for Ninja, to watch Ninja play. A, a Halo. The thing I want to see is just who can still keep up, like as far as like older players mm-hmm. returning to the game. Like I think Hysteria would still have it. Yeah, I think like Cloud would have Demon to have it. Who do you think wouldn't have it? Hey. <laughs> uh, like, I wonder if like Cleet will come back Assault For maybe. something like that dude He might uh, well, I don't know Cleet's weird so you, like, <laughs> you never know what he's gonna do Ever Like now he like streams League of Legends every I don't know he's how been, often He's, but been on he's League grinding Legends. that He's always streamed it Back in the match. morning and whatnot. Over, he just ran. He's kind of like me. Just, just turns like, it on. If he gets a, addicted to a game, like he just keeps fucking playing the shit out of it. Dude, I think we went to IHOP every day, four a.m. for like a week straight. The, the, three, once, the at Scuff House, the three of us, Stellar and Cleet. Oh dude. yeah, every day. Good times, yeah. man. That's Good what people were time. roasting you guys for losing to CLG every week in the in the online tournament. Yeah, and then now look at them and spreading yeah. every event. They were every like, event. They're not even practicing. They're not even trying. And I was like, well, if I'm losing to CLG, dude. Then. I, f- <laughs> I hate the optic, like idiot haters. Yeah, like I, I, I get the haters, but the, there's idiots that are like, <laughs> like whenever you were in the two v two finals. And I think in y'all were losing. Uh-huh. People were like, "Ah, Optic sucks again. They're so bad. Optic always fails." And I'm like, they're "If the they boys. lose, they're, like they're in the finals. <laughs> what do you mean they suck?" I know, I know, I know. And one even, time you got naded out. You got naded out, and you you had to push out. Yeah, you got naded. And when you pushed out, they were watching it from one of the other guys' point of views, and so they just see you fly out. Yeah, at the, the last series. I think so. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. The last game, and everybody was like, "Flames, flames." Like, what is Flame doing? Like, Flame sucks. And I was just like, I mean, he reset, they reset the bracket in finals of yeah. the 2v2 tournament in 2018, Halo 3. But no, that was definitely a bad play. So, I mean, shout out to those guys for oh, noticing okay. it. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know. But I was just saying, regardless. But, like, yeah, it was like. Like, how many they're online so grinders do yeah, 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 yeah. They're so terrible at the game. They don't even understand. Like, it's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's literally kind of like how he, we even talked or how I said, like, a couple of the, the grinders were like, dude, we don't want to play on main stage. We'd rather play on the side stage. Literally, those people, you put them, like, on the main stage that are they shit talking in the chat. Yeah. The they might not even be able to hit the jump button. Like, they forget how to jump, shoot, aim, the lights everything. Will do yeah. To people. Like, what's going on? Yeah. And that's what. That's another but I mean, it is what, I mean, that's why they choose to be on, on the viewer side versus, you know, attempting it. That's crazy, dude. Honestly, if you put me on main stage, I would fucking shiver to death. I feel like you would love it. Dude, people always like, I feel like you do like one one pump up hype moment type yeah. of deal. And then that's all just, you would just, 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 just one hype you would literally I mean, embrace a, everything and bro. then like literally it might be like everything you've been working up to you know this moment pissed, hitch, you you go pro. You know how pissed I was whenever the um formal Damon uh Krim and Seth asked homage to coach them in that one tournament? Oh the uh the one across uh, yeah, yeah, London instead yeah. of me. I wanted to coach so bad. Pomash has a wait. Did they win that event? Yeah. yeah. So Pomash has a championship. Yep. Yeah. Pomash has a championship. <laughs> I wonder if he tells people he's won an event. Bro, did you see? <laughs> oh, the clip? Did you see the clip I tweeted? It was like <laughs> I was watching uh, old visions with my chat, and like there's the that was the same event that Damon uh, his passport expired, so he didn't go. Right the first day. So they, he had to like do a bunch of stuff here in order to go. So they were all sitting outside wondering who sh- who they should pick up. And Pam is sitting out there. And somebody in my chat was like, do you think Pam thought he was about to get picked up? And I started dying laughing because in the next clip, it like pans to him. And he's like, like, like standing like this, like looking at everybody. And I was like, they totally, or I was like, 
Pam probably thought he was about to get asked to play <laughs> as the fourth for Austin. <laughs> I, I wonder if he there. actually thought spot. that. He probably did. I that seems like there. something Pam would think. Uh, kind of. I'd be like, Pam, you're not playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing on this team, Pam. I saw I saw someone tweet that at him like Pam, it'd be interesting to see you compete. And in my head, I'm like, no, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't at yeah, all. It wouldn't. <clears throat> like at it's all. completely different. It is. People, Pam, think, like, Pam got people... cocky. I'll never forget it because he always tweets me that like random ass triple he hit on me <laughs> in 2002. In two, yeah. In <laughs> so he always brings that up, and he. I remember moving into the scuff house. He's. I said something about Mono for two, and he was like. You don't know about Mono for two, and I was like, I breathe Mono for two, <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, he was like, I'll play you in whatever. I was like, so you play a two v two CTF with me right now? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, okay. So I George got on, and it was seven zero at halftime, and Pam was like, all right, let's play some. Let's not play this anymore. Shh, dude, that's exactly like the one we won with him. Dude, you called dogs on me. You let me get dogs. Yeah, like, yeah. what do you mean? You called dogs. That's funny. Poor, poor, poor Pam. Pam. Well, he's not <laughs> even here to defend himself. So. Yeah, Sorry, right? Pam. Sorry, Pam. Sorry, Pam. <laughs> it would be interesting Sketch. to watch him play. Sketchy mother. <laughs> <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be interesting. I hope he has like some sort of league play series where he snipes. Same with Sprat. Have you guys seen Sprat play this game? It's fucking weird. Yeah, I already it's, nuts. It's weird. He doesn't miss, dude. It's weird. <sighs> Was just it, a I, sniper league play team. Yeah, I can't even imagine like, like he hits he hits console shots as if it's like PC. Really? So kind of hype for league play. When does that come out? After uh, the first of people. Time people it. said it was December, so I don't know. Probably soon. Probably after or like week before the first vendor some shit. Yeah. Wait, what about Vegas? You're, you're competing, aren't you? If we get a team pass, we get a team pass. Are they all sold out or something? I don't know. It's Dick's Dick's responsibility. <sighs> Nick. Most of it. To I be went honest, from saying I'm not BTH. competing to it being my responsibility. <laughs> most of it is like us clickbaiting for. Uh, no, I get that. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Uh, but but I thought it was like oh CWO practice. Like everyone obviously knows. Me and my two high school friends and Nick are not going to take it yeah. seriously. Mm-hmm. But you have no idea how many people come into my chat and it's just like, "How are scrims going?" Like, "Oh yeah, bet." Like, "Who who are you, who's your fifth yet? Have you guys figured out a fifth? Like, have you started running <laughs> well, I mean, stuff?" Yeah. And I'm like, "Yo, like, I, I don't even know." They're probably just trolling you guys like, on. Yeah. They're just like, just I like, can't name a map right now. No, that frequency yeah, is yeah. all I can name. Frequency, paid low frequency, low. and hostile Wega. Gridlock. Hostile Wega? I don't know. I know it's talking about an H. Hostile Wega. I know two na- I know the maps, but I <laughs> don't know the names. I don't Hacienda. know why or how. Do you know why it's called Hacienda? Firing Range? Um, yeah, I know that one. Wait, isn't that Pablo Escobar shit? Pablo That's why there's like... Uh, the cat underneath. Like a lion and a... Did you know that? What? There's a tiger and uh To be honest, I didn't watch a lot of Pablo stuff. So I don't know, like, <sighs> no, I'm a huge pop up. Yeah. On, on one of the maps, you <laughs> look. Up, on one of the maps, you can look under and you see a tiger walking under the house. I don't know that's that. What's creepier cool. about it is it's in a, it's in a uh, torture chamber. <clears throat> so there's like a tiger covered in blood uh, walking around okay. the bottom, and then if you look at the wall right there, there's like, there's like pliers and yeah. And it's, uh, right okay. next to a big vault. I thought the, I thought the torture. I thought the torture <laughs> thing was like the Wait, tiger. Where's the cocaine vault? It's right. In, if you if you're looking at the tiger facing out, it's right to your left, like on the wall. And if which I'm map is this? Down at the tiger, you're looking down at the tiger, facing like towards the outside. It's right to your left. I have to look for the cocaine. This is there's the cocaine this is here. Hacienda? Yeah, it's like the cocaine vault here, and then right on the wall, right in front of it, is like all the torture. Is that stuff. the one with the Lambo Hill? Yeah, so on the uh, the Lambo Hills on the other side. Okay, and where's where do you see the tiger? Where would you see? So you know where the lobby is. Yeah. So on the other side of the lobby. Okay. Yeah. I'm literally gonna go home and check it out. Now. It's uh, it's like it's got to be like that map is like the coolest map I've seen in COD in a long time. Like just because you can if you I literally went to private match and, and just looked around that map because 
apparently in the Lambo Hill, you can look down and see the the, the garage goes down floors, and there's, there's more there's cars. more cars. <sighs> like there's so much cool stuff in, in that particular map that the designers did really well. I, like I was it. watching Doc stream one time, and he was talking about like designing stuff, and so there's designers of maps that make it like you know very plain pretty have you played uh, a, have you played oh on like yeah a plain build mm-hmm. yeah so there's for, like um for halo like one for halo, three, yeah. three, i got to see everything like and a lot of the like the pro teams love those maps because those are the maps where like for shit me and nick like at least where like on the new halos we throw grenades and the grenades like don't even bounce but on those maps without all the design, it works that way. Like, here's a corner. You dink it off that. It's going to uh, bounce this way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's not, like, weird crevices. Yeah. Mess I thought it was really cool to learn that, like, there's designers of the map. So they design with the blocks and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then they send it to a design team. Yeah. And it so, starts chipping away. So and, those mm-hmm. graphic teams are the ones that, like, build the whole story of the map, which yeah. I thought was fucking, like, I didn't even know that was how it went down. Yeah, studio work's crazy, man. It's cra- that's like, so like sick. When Halo went down its first time, like going out there into the studios and seeing like everything behind doors and how they worked was was out of this world for sure. Yeah. Crazy knowing uh, Doc was like, because that's like a nerdy job, and yes. Doc had like a nerdy <laughs> job, super nerdy job. But it's he's cr- really cocky about. But you know what's crazy? I swear to God, we went to go eat. We were in Anaheim, like doing this Call of Duty shit. Me, Hex, and like two other people. And Doc was, or or yeah, Doc was there, but he wasn't like he was still like working for Sledgehammer, like doing yeah. shit with them. And he was showing his Doctor Disrespect videos from like ten years ago, like legit, like yeah. 12, 11, 12 years ago. And Hex is like, bro, you gotta do that again. Like, yeah. you gotta do that again. Like, he, Hex was like showing me these videos for like weeks. Yeah. Fast forward. There's like, a lot of that Hex is dude. Hex has done that to so many people, and it's just kind of like. It's got to be bittersweet for them because they know that every time they go to Hex, Hex is like, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like he, I, Hex just did his uh his podcast with Lunkers, Rob from UMG. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, yeah, dude, that shit is cr- that shit is crazy. That was a good one. I haven't I haven't watched it. Uh, just just Rob's whole story is okay. Bro, I've always I, said, I love his Marine stories. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've always said like we're like if we're in anybody's simulation, it's Rob because <laughs> Rob went he was a you know he, he went to the army and did like some high profile stuff there i don't i don't know how much he people know literally about a it. sniper yeah. like okay i didn't i didn't know if i was supposed to say that or uh, not but <laughs> he was uh, yeah. <laughs> and then he comes back out of the army and creates umg online <clears throat> it gets successful then he sells it then he becomes the biggest fishing you youtuber <sighs> on on youtube and now apparently he's like really big into poker, and I bet you he's gonna fucking win the Texas the, the uh, big one, whatever yeah. it's called. Yeah, like he's gonna continuously Damn. just do that shit. Yeah. Remember before we moved here, and Hex was just like fishing, 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 fishing. Has he fished like, talking once about, yet? I don't know, dude. Well, what? I think he's done a lot of stuff with Lunkers. Has really? he? Okay. With that whole because he Lunkers is part of like a like fishing, yeah, like actual fishing though. Because I feel like I've never seen him. Uh, yeah, I feel like back at one two three five, I would see it always on his story. And since being here, maybe well, I mean before three we times. knowing we were going to come to Texas, he was yeah, just he like, was oh, like, yeah, fishy. that's me, yeah. that's me. <laughs> yeah, he said he was going to blow like his YouTube and do the whole yeah, uh, right? basher thing and and take that off. And I don't think he pushed for that. That shit kind of made sense though. Lazy yeah. ass. I don't think it was lazy. I know. If I you, just want to. <laughs> I, I just always wanted to say that to Hex. Because whenever all the Halo shit went down, he like uploaded a vlog and it just got trashed. And so he was like, all right, I'm done with this shit for a little bit. So he took a break and now he's. Yeah, that, that's true. Dude, his, uh, his, his podcast uh, and vlog is well. just killing it. But I wonder how many views that 6050 one is at. I'm going to guess 500K. Ooh, Actually, my, no. no, 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 no. I'm gonna guess 345. Nah, 269. 269. 468. Such a child. You could throw 69 in there. 269. 269. I said 345. 241. Ooh. Mm. Good job, Miak. Good job, Miak. <laughs> that's crazy. All right. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this random ass reminiscent podcast. Yeah, yeah. That, that felt, felt good. Yeah. It's a little tired. That felt good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be seeing me and Mike on the main stage coming. Yeah, to, uh, real soon. Yeah, yeah. Stream near you. Twitch.tv slash BTH Maniac, the fastest growing. <laughs> Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>